Hello, I'm Phil Ernest, hiking from the Baldy Village to the Baldy Summit. The trail starts on Bear Canyon Drive, right across the street from the Mount Baldy Lodge. The closest address is 6757 Bear Canyon Drive, Mount Baldy, California. For the first 10 minutes, you'll be walking uphill on the asphalt area. Then you will come to this sign, Mount Baldy Summit, six miles. Continue following up the trail. The trail is well marked and easy to follow. If you're finding this video informative, please give it a thumbs up. And see that logo on the lower right hand corner of the screen? Please hit that to subscribe to the channel. 35 minutes into this hike, you will see this amazing view of the clouds hovering down below. This hike is about a 12 and a half mile hike round trip from the summit and back to the village. So because of that, it is not a hike for beginners. 50 minutes into your hike, you will have hiked 1.6 miles to Bear Flats as you cross over this little creek of water. It's at this point of the hike where you start to hike up the switchbacks. This is what I like to call phase two of this hike and my least favorite part of the hike, mainly because the sun starts to pound on you coming up over the mountains. While the switchbacks may be challenging, don't quit. You will be rewarded with amazing views as you continue on with this hike. Down below, you can see the Ice House parking lot. So after hiking the switchbacks for about 50 minutes, you're now done with that. We're now one hour and 35 minutes into this hike, and we're entering into what I call phase three of this hike, where you get a little bit of shade and start to see some trees and a little bit more of a scenic view at this point. You could see Sunset Peak and off in the distance, Potato Mountain, just above the clouds. Two hours into the hike, you'll come upon this big white rock. The trail isn't as defined as it was before at this point, but just slow down, look for it, you'll find the trail. There's also a nice big log here where people like to stop, take a little break before they continue on with their hike. Coming up at the two and a half hour mark of this hike is what really makes this hike special. Two hours and 25 minutes into this hike, um, wind starts to kick up because you're getting crosswinds now from both sides of the mountain. You're getting it from this side and you're getting it from this side so hang in there the good thing is it starts to level off a little bit two hours and 42 minutes into the hike we see these nice big pretty white rocks as we start to feel a little bit of a, a gain here now steep gain going up the side of these rocks okay i'm now three hours into this hike and come upon this little cool area right here. Look at that. While this part of the hike is pretty, you do have the cross winds coming from both sides. So please hike with caution, as you will soon see in this next scene coming up. Okay, three hours and 27 minutes into the hike. And we come upon this and this is pretty cool. This is one of my favorite parts of this trail because you're high above the clouds on all 360 degrees. Look at that, high above. And then you zero in on, on this trail coming up. And for the first time since I've been on this trail today, I could see the summit right there of Mount Baldy. I am one hour away from my destination. The winds on this trail do vary from day to day. On this particular day, it was relatively calm. I did this same trail two weeks later and the winds were very strong. So please again, cannot say it enough, hike with caution while going on this ridge. Because if you slip and fall, it's a long ways down from either side of the mountain. And there's a look back at what I just hiked along that thin line right there, that thin ridge. Be careful, Does, you do get crosswinds and you don't want to slip and fall. This is kind of neat rock formation right here. It looks kind of cool like the Matterhorn. I'm doing this hike in late April and I'm seeing the first snow on this hike. I'm now 30 minutes away from the summit I've been hiking for four hours, and this is another one of my favorite parts, hiking along this skinny little trail along the ridge. One, two, 
there's the trail I just hiked. Looking back on it, and there's where I'm going. Four hours and 15 minutes into the hike, and this is the summit right there. Pointing. I'm now four hours and 20 minutes into the hike, and the snow has taken over the trail. I'm about 10 minutes from the Mount Baldy summit. After four and a half hours of hiking, I finally reached the summit and can see people milling around on top. I take a look back and admire the fact that I hiked all of that from the village. On this particular day, the wind was blowing pretty strong. Take a look at this guy losing his hat. And with the wind brings the chill factor. Notice these people all bundled up. So don't forget to pack a light jacket. And this is where the sign is at where people gather around to take a picture with. Mount Baldy, 10,064 feet. The only thing left to do is hike right back on down the mountain. If you would like to see my other hiking videos in the Southern California area, please click on the link now. Thank you so much for watching.